I'm going to play today at the suggestion of one of the fans of my YouTube channel. She said, why not make Kahlua? Now there are a lot of recipes for Kahlua out there. This is real Kahlua. I bought this last night at the store. I haven't even opened it yet. It's not expensive stuff. This was $14.99, about $15. So, but I wanna make it my own at home just to show you how it's done. I did a lot of research, as I always do. I looked at a good dozen, if not 15 different recipes that people had published out there for making their own homemade Kahlua. I gotta tell you, a good half of them weren't making Kahlua. <laughs> they were making booze, and the boozier the better. This is what they were using for alcohol. This is Everclear. This is 95% alcohol by volume. It's 190 proof. People buy this as a solvent to clean their tools. That's how strong this stuff is. You can't even buy this here in California. The most we can get is 75%. A friend of mine brought this to me from out of state. 95%, 190 proof. Okay, Kahlua, 20% alcohol. And just for comparison, this bottle is 15.3% alcohol by volume, 15.320. There isn't much more alcohol in this than there is in a bottle of wine. So I'm not looking to make booze. Another thing I noticed about the recipes were those, who, those that didn't use Everclear used vodka. I don't know why. If you look at the label on the front of Kahlua, it's rum and coffee, not vodka. So, rum. I'm going to use the last of my Myers because I've got it. It's been on the shelf for a while. I've got a shelf of my cooking alcohol over there. I might as well use this up. I've got about one cup of rum in here. This is 80 proof, 40% alcohol. So I'm figuring if I have one cup of this and then one cup of another liquid, that'll get the alcohol down to 20%, 40 proof. That'll match my Kahlua. Third thing I'm trying to do is get the syrupy texture of Kahlua. I've made other Kahlua. This is a bottle of something I made a while ago. This is the last of it. I made a big batch. I ended up with three bottles and I've been giving Kahlua away a little at a time to my neighbors. This is the last that I've got. It tastes good, but it's very watery. It doesn't have the viscosity that I'm looking for. Kahlua has a slight viscosity, a slight syrupy texture. If you want to understand viscosity, okay, this is alcohol, very low viscosity. This has a lower viscosity than water. This has high viscosity. Look how that moves. Very thick. You figured it out. It's honey, okay? So this is what I want to get. I want to get a little bit... I don't want it to be like pancake syrup, but I want a slightly syrupy texture. And it turns out that what they use when they make their real Kahlua is they use corn syrup. It's not as thick as honey, but it has that slight syrupy texture. So I'm thinking, okay, a cup of rum, half a cup of water, plus the sugar, the extra sugar that I'm gonna add, plus a half a cup of this, I'm going to make a small batch rather than a big, some of the recipes make like a gallon and a half, which fine if you're going to give it away, but I'm going to make a small batch. So I'll end up with a little over maybe two cups of liquid, but it'll be 20% alcohol like real Kahlua. So it should be right and just aiming for the right flavor. So let's make Kahlua. You're gonna see how easy this is. So what I have here is one half cup of water. That's about 120 milliliters. And then I have three quarters of a cup, 150 grams of granulated sugar. And I'm gonna be heating this on the stove to get it hot enough to dissolve that sugar, but I also want it hot enough that I can dissolve instant coffee into this. If you want this sweeter, you could use one cup of sugar, which is about 200 grams. I don't want it too sweet. This is one tablespoon of instant coffee. I'm actually using a um, instant cappuccino. It's kind of a strong flavored coffee. Get that all stirred in. 
maybe you can see the steam rising so you can see how hot that water is sugar is all dissolved the coffee is all dissolved this is one half cup and again another 120 milliliters of that light corn syrup this will help to cool it down a little bit in my mixture before I add the rum get that all stirred in okay that looks blended now this is my rum this is one cup I measured this earlier this is one cup of rum and then finally one teaspoon of vanilla extract I use a little squeezer bottle here I know each one of these little eyedropper things is a quarter teaspoon so four of those that's a teaspoon of vanilla extract that's how simple it is and that is my homemade Kahlua I'm gonna let that cool down and I can taste it and make up a little drink this is cooled down to the point where I think I can safely pour this into a bottle probably have not enough to fill a bottle and then again maybe more than enough yeah I have a little bit more in there that's what I'm going to use to make my drink but there it is There's my bottle of homemade Kahlua. Again, I just made a small amount, quadruple all the recipe numbers if you want to make a lot of this. All right, let's mix a drink for myself. I have some ice cubes here. Yeah, one more. This is the last of the Kahlua that was in that pan. And then some half and half. Give that a little stir. Looks good. All right, let's see what that tastes like. Let's see what I got here. <laughs> tastes like Kahlua and cream. That's good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Excuse me, I'm going to go enjoy my Kahlua and cream made with homemade Kahlua. For a printable PDF copy of this recipe with step-by-step -step photographs, visit my website mobilehomegourmet.com and look on the homepage or in the recipe archive.